call for a mid-century style shop at midcentury.style. Today is a, a fun do-it-yourself project. Lamps! <laughs> Again! <laughs> yes. So this is part of a sub-project, part of a bigger one, because I want to redo my whole bedroom. <laughs> Maybe by now it's already done, but I thought this would be nice to be a separate thing. And the reason I'm filming from up there <laughs> is because I want you to see everything I'm going to show you. So let's start and let's have a look at what we have. These are the Stockholm uh, lamp at Ikea. A lot of people have bought those and they love them. Me too. <laughs> but for my new bedroom, which I wanted to be more mid-century, I wanted to take the shade higher, have a different color. <laughs> so there was a previous project where I showed you that these lamps were really bright and to soften it up, I showed you how to untwist this, take the ring out, and put something on top. And I found something in a mid-century pattern, which was really nice. Now, put this aside. We're gonna keep the shade that's made of pl around, uh, uh, plastic and glass. We're gonna keep that. But now, we're gonna take the ring higher. We're gonna, since there's nothing that holds it up together here, it's even brighter than it was. So we're gonna put something around it to soften it up more. On top, something plain. And in between here, we're gonna put metal sheet. <laughs> and the ones I found are really nice. The pattern I wanted wasn't available in really big, big sheets. So I bought this, this pattern, which is kind of a Roman mid-century thing. I didn't like the silver color, so I bought this guy here, metallic paint, <laughs> gold. <laughs> because in mid-century modern, they used to mix, to often mix colors and textures, and so that's what I want to do. I'm gonna have wood in the bedroom and uh, curtains and uh, things like, all different kinds of textures and color. So I painted this guy already gold. So we're gonna have this chromey, shiny silver. We're gonna wrap this around here in gold. You can already see how crazy cool it's gonna be, <laughs> right? And I'm gonna show you all the steps. And again, when we're done, we're gonna put this on top that's gonna serve as a, as a topper and hold it together. So, ready? <laughs> First. What do you need? Metal cutters, scissors, pliers, <laughs> uh, maybe an exacto and a marker, and some wire, galvanized steel wire, 20 pound. Uh, yeah. And MacTac. Why the MacTac? <laughs> yes. So, in my first tryouts with the first lamp that I did yesterday, <laughs> I realized that I wanted to. To, to find a material that would be best to soften the light all around because now that the ring is off, it's a translucent plastic, so light goes through and it's too bright. And I wanted something, since this is LED light, it's a bit uh, too blue whitish and I wanted something more yellowish. So, you know, more, more colorful, more warm. And so I tried with standard paper, <laughs> And all sorts of stuff, it didn't work. And in last resort, what was working the best is MacTech. And I tried to put it on the outside, like this. Great idea. <laughs> but when I was trying at the end to do the finishing touch and slide the tube on it, it would work, but it would scratch it all over. So, do you know how this is made? <laughs> These are two rings. One is full, one as a whole, and it's holded together by two half circles in plastic. All you have is to separate them. There's a little opening here, right like this, you see? <laughs> and these are the two rings. One like this, one like this. So I got my Mac tag here and I'm gonna put it inside. And once I'm done, all of this, I'll put it back together. Before finishing that, I'm gonna, this is a frosted glass on one side. 
So on the side that's, here's the frosted. So you want to keep it nice. This side, I'm going to put a, U, a, a full circle of MacTac 2. So once we're done, this is going to go back here with the MacTac on top. It's going to really soften the light and a yellowish tone. It's really nice. You'll see when it's finished. Now, let's put it back together. And I'm going to put this. See? I'm going to show you now how to curve it out because to take the measurements before cutting, you want to make sure that you do it right. And uh, to help you out, it would be nice if it would be curved already a little bit. And that's tricky. You don't want to bend it over. It's metal. It's very delicate. So here's what I found. <laughs> I'm using a big uh, duct tape roll. So let's start with bending a little bit. You know, give it a few swings like this without pushing too much. Just to give it a little, you know, a little, to make it want to curve. Slowly, if you don't take your time, you're gonna F it up. <laughs> right? Start slowly, don't bend too forceful right away. As, as, Along the way, you'll feel it. You'll know. You can twist it around. You can see already, you know. So you see. This will, this now helps because it prevents me from pushing too hard. And then. You understand now why I'm using this? You see, I can give it a little bend harder bend without making sure I don't break it. And this is going to be very useful that it's curved. <laughs> this is going to be our base measuring. Now let's put it here and like this. And try to make it as tight as you can. Okay, so now it gets up to here. I'm not going to cut it at the same place. I'm gonna get just a tiny bit of, of, of extra. I don't need much, just to the next vertical line. Very easy if you take your time. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> yes, one piece at a time. And if you don't want to make ditch uh, uh, dings, try to cut a little bit in the middle, not at the end. It's going to be easier. Well, once you're done with the cutting, gives you about something like that. We're going to stitch it up. To do that, the little trick is to make one pinch at the bottom, one pinch at the top. And if you make it tight enough, really, really tight, all you will have to do in the end is to slide it down. It will hold itself. Just because it's not going to be a tube, it's going to be a slight cone. It's going to sit on it. Make sure it holds. You see? Now it does. So this is funny because it, the tension is in the other side. It wants to cramp together. Here it wanted to, we want it to pop. But it's okay. So to stitch it up, I'll use one long string of middle wire. So let me show you the stitching a little bit. You see it goes all the way up and it doesn't really show much and it's going to be in the back. So all you have to do after that, you take the larger circle 
and this is going to go on this little guy, the base shape. All you have to do is slide it in. Let me do that here. There. There you go. <laughs> and now it would hold itself. And then you take the the ring that used to be the top of the shade. And there's a little rim in, inside, so it would sit on, on, on the plastic and glass. Now it's going to sit on this, on our sheet metal. Like this. <laughs> Is that amazing? <laughs> it's good. So let me show you with the lamp. All you have to do is put it back together, right? Twist it on. Okay. Now let me light it up. Voila! <laughs> oh my god, it's just it's, <laughs> oh, I'm in love. It's so beautiful. So this is my bedroom, the way it looks right now. It's not been uh, mid-centrized yet, <laughs> coming up in the uh, next project. But I wanted to show you a little tour to see how they look now, those lamps. But here first, you see all the stuff from the store. You can get these, really cute. This too, it's nice accessories, looks great. And this is another project, the um, nightstand from an IKEA storage unit. Little bottle, I love those, because it keep, keeps cold all night. And that's the lamp we've been working on. This is how it looks with the thing on the top. It's it's fine. Well, of course, white walls for now still, but <laughs> something's coming. And this is how it looks now. Look at that, how crazy it is. Oh my God, I love it. And it's all just aligned with the headboard. It's a coincidence, it's crazy. It looks great. So let me light it up. I'll just close the blinds here. There you go. And you see the gold and silver, it's crazy. It's like this, and they have a dimmer, those lamps, it's great. Here we go. Oh my God, it's so nice. <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> so this is how it looks from the inside, isn't that cool? <laughs> so, just wanted to show you the stitching right there. You can't really see it because it's silver on silver from the inside, so it's good. And this is the ring that used to be all around the original shade here. Now it's on top, holding the whole thing together. And since this diameter is larger than this diameter, just a little bit, because this sits on the other uh, shape, but here it sits on the inner shape. So this is smaller and that's why I didn't have to think of anything to make, to make it stand. It holds itself just by gravity and it won't go down unless you push. And this is how it looks. It's, it's just crazy cool. <laughs> I can't believe it. And this is how it was before. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. So hey, this is it. My mid-century modern lamps are finally done. <laughs> I still cannot believe I did that myself. It's way too cool. <laughs> I think the next thing is gonna have to be the bedroom uh, because, well, it's a bit echo. <laughs> and there's something missing. I have great ideas and it's still brewing, but it's coming soon, so stay tuned. And, you know, by the way, if you don't have the exact same lamps to start with, it doesn't matter. I hope I gave you great inspiration to look at your stuff and open it up, see how it's made. You may find surprises like I did. <laughs> And go to the hardware store and look at every bin. <laughs> and don't look at stuff for what it is. Look at stuff for what you can do with it. That's the secret. And that's how I plan those projects. And well, until next time, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to know when I post something. <laughs> and you can look at the blog. We have a separate uh, uh, address if you want to bookmark it. Midcentury.blog. It's easy. You'll find all the details and pictures about all projects I do. And then you can shop for beautiful stuff <laughs> at midcentury.style. That's the, the address for the store. Don't forget. <laughs> Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao. <laughs>